Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be an update to my Project Wax. I realized that I did not update this in February. I was in the process of moving, so some of my candles were packed and I guess I just like forgot to film it last month, but this will be the March update. Um, basically, I'm gonna show you guys, I did finish off a few candles and I'm gonna add in a few candles and I got a ton of progress. I've been really enjoying um, burning these candles in our new apartment. I feel like I've been really attracted to clean and fresh scents lately, as opposed to what I'm usually attracted to, which is like a gourmand scent. So that'll reflect in some of the choices that I have today and some of the things that I went through. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first we will go through the candles that I finished off. So last month I did finish off two, and that is Strawberry Pound Cake. This one was in the project. Um, there are two updates to it, and then I finished it off. Just the most wonderful scent. I absolutely adore strawberry pound cake and I'm using it now in the body care. And then I also finished off Cozy Weekend before we moved out of our old house. Here was where I was last time and now I finished it up. It burned all the way to the bottom. Really great scent. I really enjoyed this one and I would definitely repurchase a three rick from Homeworks. I'm sorry if you can hear Kai whining. He's laying down right now and I think that he just wants attention, but he's just laying down on the couch. He was sleeping and he, I will come up by talking. So sorry, bub. Um, and then I finished off these two this month. One is Paris Cafe, like totally unintentionally finished it. It wasn't even like in the project. I just finished it off in the, um, in the office. Ever since we've been at this new place, I've been burning it. The notes are rich roasted coffee, sugared brioche and vanilla creme. So I really enjoyed that one. And then I also finished off Wine Cellar. So this one was completely unused when I put it in the project in January and I finished it off completely at this house. This was perfect um, for that kind of like clean and fresh vibe that I was going for. Notes are mold apples, fresh fig and cedarwood. This would definitely be really amazing in the fall, but I totally enjoyed it in like um, late winter, early spring. So this was really nice. And then let's go through these three right here that I do have updates for you guys on. The first one being in the stars. I've been thoroughly enjoying this one. Here is the progress when it started last month and then now, or I guess that would be January and then now. Um, totally love this one. I'm gonna be really sad when it's finished. I might have to buy some more on Mercari. The notes are Bergamot Champagne, Night Blooming Water Lily, and Pink Salted Amber. I just think this is like the perfect bedroom scent. It's like sophisticated and sweet with a little bit of floral. So it's like a very feminine quality, quality to it. And I've just been absolutely adoring it. And it'll probably be finished up in the next week. Okay, I have to take this off because every time I film with a ring light, I start to get really hot. But it is actually cold here in Texas, which is great. It never gets very cold in like late winter, early spring. Um, and then I have a update to pistachio and toasted vanilla. I've also been absolutely enjoying this one. Let me go ahead and mark it. The notes on this one are salted pistachios, toasted vanilla almonds. That's it, that's literally it. So I've gone from here to here. Not a ton of progress, but I've been really enjoying this one. It's just like a nice, simple, kind of sweet, but not like too sweet scent for the apartment. I feel like it's still like a nice, not fresh scent, but like not too bakery, I guess. It's kind of in between. So I've been really enjoying this one. And then Goosebumps Cupcake, which I thought would be great for February. I burned it once. Did I burn it once? Yeah, I burned it once in February and that was it. Um, I don't know. I feel like this one didn't throw that well for me. I'm gonna have to try it again now that I'm in an apartment. I definitely tried it at our old house, um, but the notes are not on here. So never mind. I believe it was like a chocolate raspberry cupcake, but here's my progress just a little bit. But I really thought that this would be great for Valentine's Day. So I'm gonna try it again, see if I like it. And if I don't um, in March, then I will just go ahead and wait until um, Halloween and bring this back out for Halloween. Okay, I have these guys that I'm adding into the project and I actually have two that I'm adding in for Ryan for the project. So um, Ryan is actually transitioning into a new job and he's going to be um, hybrid. So he's gonna be part-time work from home and part-time in the office. So I'm gonna put in two candles for him and I've actually been enjoying these myself and lighting these myself. So they're not just for him, but I just wanted to put these in because I feel like in that transition, um, 
he's gonna really enjoy having these kind of candles going in our office, which we do have a shared office. So the first one is Mahogany Apple in the Single Wick. I think I'm definitely gonna start buying more Single Wicks now that I'm in an apartment. They just were not throwing like I needed them to in a house, um, so I have not been buying them. I think I have one, I have this one and I have Pumpkin Spice Latte and those are the only two Single Wicks I own. So I definitely think I'll be getting some more um, now that I'm in this smaller area and I can melt them and burn them in the office, in the bedroom, um, in the bathroom or whatever. But mahogany apple is red mahogany woods, golden delicious apple, pink peppercorn, and fresh lavender sprigs. This one is so nice. It is a fall scent, but honestly it could be year round. It's just like a different version of mahogany teak wood with the apple added to it. That juicy apple makes it really, really good. We have burned it a few times. Um, and it is right here. So I will be excited actually to burn this one as well in the office. I feel like these kind of mahogany scents, these more masculine type scents, just make me feel nice and cozy when I'm working. And then I'm also gonna put in the three wick of mahogany teakwood, just a solid staple, one of Ryan's favorites. And this one is not the intense one, this is just regular. This is rich mahogany, dark oak, and frosted lavender. And we have already burned this a little bit. That's why I'm putting it in just because I know that we're enjoying it, so why not put it in the project? So we are right about here on the packaging. So burned it probably two or three times already. Um, and yeah, just really enjoying this one and we'll probably, I don't know, get through the next couple of months, I think. Okay, also I'm putting in Cinnamon Spice Vanilla and Paris Cafe. I am sad to put this in though because this is my last one that I have um, left. I did kind of hoard these when it came out in summer SAS of 2022 because this is one of my favorite scents. The notes are rich roasted coffee, vanilla creme, ground cinnamon, and sugar crystals. It is just a really wonderful cinnamon spiced latte. It's so good and so strong and makes me feel so cozy. I love burning it in the mornings when I'm working and I just, ugh, I love it. So I've already been burning it. It's down to here. It'll probably be gone really quickly because I really love it and I'm sad to see it go. I'll probably also have to buy another one of these on Mercari, but it's worth it. It's one of my absolute favorites. So that is Cinnamon Spice Vanilla in Paris Cafe. I have Fresh Coconut and Cotton. We pulled this one out. This was like the first candle that I pulled out to use in this new apartment. We've been here for about two and a half weeks now and we've gone through almost all of it. So it is all the way down here. I'm definitely gonna have to buy another one of these for the summertime. I think I have a mahogany coconut that I'll do after this. Um, but oh my gosh, I feel like this is like the perfect way to describe how I want this new apartment to feel. The notes are coconut, coastal breeze, and beachside cotton. I've, I just, I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. Um, it's definitely gonna be finished in like the next week, probably tomorrow or tonight. Um, but I've been just enjoying it so, so much and it's like the perfect kind of fresh and cozy linen scent for just setting the mood in the apartment. And then I'm gonna put in banana bundt cake. Um, this one, I'm almost positive that I did put it in in the last Project Wax video, but I did not mark it, so I don't think that I did. I don't know. For some reason I thought I had put it in a project, but I guess I didn't, so. This one is gonna go in, a project, in the project. It is right here, I've burned it probably two times already. The notes are sweet banana, toasted walnut, and fresh cinnamon. I was craving like a banana, or not a banana. I was craving some sort of bakery scent, and so I pulled this out um, a couple days ago, and I really do enjoy it. I thought I wouldn't like this artificial banana, but I really do actually like it, and it's a nice like change up of pace from like a mahogany scent or like that fresh coconut and cotton. This is like a nice change of pace. So really been liking this one and I will um, let you guys know what I think when I finish it up. And the last candle that I'm putting in is Champagne Toast. This one's just like a solid go-to. I feel like this one will go in after one, I, one of these I finish up um, and I don't have any kind of fresh and fruity scent going right now. So this will be really nice if I'm feeling those type of vibes. So Champagne Toast is bubbly champagne, bright berries and juicy tangerine and it is unburned. So wonderful scent to put in um, as we go into spring and it starts to get hotter here. I'm definitely gonna love this one. So I'm very excited to have this one back in. It is one of my favorites year after year. 
and yeah, excited to burn it. So that is the update to my Project Wax. I have 10 candles in the project right now. Oh, I forgot. Um, I actually have one more candle that I'm gonna put in and that is Vanilla Bean. I am currently burning it right now in our office. So that's why I don't have it to show you guys, but it is pretty much unused. So I'll mark it right now and keep you guys updated on that one. But that one is also going in the project. So 11 candles. And I'm excited to see what I get through in this next month. I've already gotten through two candles and I think I have a few that I am really close to finishing up. So the March empties video should be really good on candles. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what scents are you burning this month? I'm definitely gonna get back into my Scentsy warmers now that everything is unpacked in the house. So I'll probably update you guys on that. Maybe do like a warmer tour or something. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that video but yeah that is everything i hope you guys enjoyed if you did like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you all in my next one bye